Okay, don't count these because I'll be in trouble. Hang on. I'm Yulia Graham and this is a tag. I was tagged by the most supportive person uh, on YouTube. Her name is Frances from Happiness Sparkles. If you're here, you know her. And uh, she came up with the tag to do the only keep ones I love. This was not a hard video for me to film. I knew instantly when she asked me that yes, I would play along and yes, I know what I'm gonna talk about. A declutter is something you will not catch me do. Ah, but I can do a keep only the ones I love video. Is same, but different. My friend Sunny just did a, uh, another declutter and uh, she's saying she only wants to keep perfumes that she loves. This, is the Francis Happiness Sparkles tag of keeping only what you love. And uh, I would never do this, but I can tell you what it would be in the situation if I found myself having to keep only the ones that I love. So let's start with the one you know is going to be here. It's the one I talk about all the time. I'm not going to go into it. I'll link up a million different videos where I talk about it. This is Lyra by Zerja. Caramel, citrus, vanilla, warm, sweet, but suitable for most weather and most time. It is a sweet gourmand for people who love to feel cozy and sweet. I love this. This gives me comfort. It brings me joy. The citrus keeps it from being a very heavy um, winter fragrance. Uh, I love this in spring particularly. And so Lyra is for sure the first one I would grab. Did I mention these are going to come as no surprise? Put your hand up if you're shocked to see Intense Cafe. No? Intense Cafe by Montel has an annoying thing. I just broke the whole thing. Uh, that's okay. Here, I... I lost it, but I'm not wearing actual slacks. Hang on. That's okay. You've heard me talk about this before. Roses, there's supposed to be coffee in here. I don't perceive it, but that's okay. It's a synthetic, heavy, sweet, rich fragrance that envelops you. It insinuates itself into the room. To me, this is a stay at home fragrance. I wouldn't wear this anywhere, but I wear it an awful lot. In the evenings, uh, this is not, to me, it is not safe for work. This is a gorgeous, rich, deep, sweet, rose vanilla coffee, but I don't get any of that. I just get vanilla and deliciousness and something fake, and I love it. Ryan likes this one too. Intense Cafe Montal. You have also heard me talk about this one. I should stop saying that. You know what? I should stop saying that. These are perfumes that I love and you know I love them. See above. Oh, I'm writing poetry to you. This is Fragrance de Bois Minuit et Demi and I adore this fragrance. This is one I wear to work. I wear it out. It's sweet and spicy and rich. I, 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 I really, really love this. this. is one of my favorites. I would have this. Um, I'm starting to panic. <laughs> so pimento and caramel and uh, vanilla and coffee. And I think there's chocolate in here. This is a gorgeous fragrance um, that I also find suitable. There is citrus at the top as well. Uh, I also find this suitable for most weather. Probably not the high heat, but really in the high heat, there's only a few you're going to be able to wear anyway. I could not let this go. This is one of my all-time favorite scent profiles. If you love changing constants, but you find it doesn't last, I find this one to smell very, very similar to that one. And so, uh, but it lasts a little bit longer. Minuet de mi, Fragrance de Bois. Love, love, going nowhere. Have you met my little friend? This is... Delina by Parfum de Marly. This is one of my first niche fragrances and I adore this. This is incense for people who don't like incense. It's rose for people who don't like rose and it's vanilla for people who don't like vanilla. 
And that is lipstick for people who don't know how to put lipstick on. I'm a gourmand lover through and through, and you know that about me. I don't love the uh, florals, but there's something about this that makes me crazy. There's rhubarb in here, and it makes me nuts. I love this fragrance so much. You know, it's probably not suitable for the high heat, but that's when I love it the most. Gosh, that's pretty. The rhubarb that is so tart. This A lot of people don't like that note in here, and that's the thing that I'm going for here. I get the rhubarb, incense, vanilla. Gosh, it's beautiful. The rose, it's fresh. This lasts forever. It's beast mode. It projects. It does all of the things, and I adore, adore, adore this. This one, staying with me always. I love... Fresh Cream by Philosophy. I love it. You'll notice that all of these other ones, you can't just run into the drugstore and grab. You can run into the drugstore and grab this. It's super reasonably priced and uh, I love it. This is my second bottle in a year and you can see the dent here. That dent's not because I give decants to my friends. That dent is because I put this on at night to go to sleep and my husband loves this one. This is fresh, it's like tonic, it's got some fruity notes, uh, I get caramel in here, I get a nutty thing. It's not listed in the notes on Fragrantica, but oh gosh, I just love this so much. The issue with this one is performance, but can I tell you something? I have the lotion for this. The lotion lasts a really long time. The fragrance lasts three hours, but you know what? It is so pleasant that I don't actually care how long it lasts. I'll just spray this and besides I wear it to bed so I don't need it to last forever but the but the lotion really does last. Um, this is a sweet creamy uh, lactonic caramelly gourmand that I adore. It's not a beast in any way shape or form. It's very available. It's very affordable and uh, this is going nowhere. Nowhere. Mon frere. Fresh cream philosophy. You knew a Chanel was gonna make it in here because I love me a Chanel, right? Um, I did do a comparison of the three uh, Coco ones that I have. I have Coco Mademoiselle, the Enfance, and the Coco Noir. And uh, I, if I could only keep fragrances that I love, 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 love. One of the reasons I love, 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 love the Eau Intense is because it is more suitable in the cold than the actual Mademoiselle. This is a, I, I call it a sheep, but I don't know that it is. I think there's orange blossom and vanilla in here. There's patchouli in here for sure. And it's a classy scent that I love to wear to work. But this one you see, I can wear in the cold. Coco Mademoiselle, I cannot wear in the cold because it just disappears, uh, even though it's very long lasting in other times. It's just not suitable. It's not something I wanna wear when it's 40 below and I don't give a <laughs> But this one is, this one does. This one's richer and deeper. The color is richer and deeper in the bottle and that says something to me, right? I really like this Coco Mademoiselle uh, by Chanel and I have this ginormous bottle so I don't think that I will ever run out. But yeah, I, this one's going absolutely nowhere. Valentine's Day, I did a thing. I shouldn't have done it. I went on and on and on and on and on. I wrote a poem to it. I did a little skit for it. This fragrance I was gifted a little sample of from Joss's Fragrance Mixology and this has changed my life. I don't need to say any more about this, do I? This is Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidee Vani. Um, this fragrance does something to me um, and I like it better than most of my other fragrances. Um, this is vanilla. There is chocolate in here and there is uh, 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 some citruses at the top and some orchid and some violet. Uh, it is totally appropriate for work. It's warm and sweet, so I wouldn't wear it in the summer, I don't think. Uh, unless it was a cool summer evening, but this one, uh, this is going nowhere. This one has become the love of my life. If I can only keep the ones I truly, truly love, this is going nowhere. Let's stick with Van Cleef and Arpels and let's go to Bois Doré, which is infamously a And the only reason I have this bottle is because Sunny from Sunny Scents sent it to me. I, I don't know what to say. I've n I don't. I'm not, I don't, you can't. 
Thank you. I don't know what to say. I'm so good. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. I forgot everything. This is Van Cleef and Arpels Bois Doré. And at first I really hated this. It has a mineral note that I did not understand. Uh, this also has some spices to it. It's woody. Uh, there's probably some floral in here. We're talking mineral notes and black pepper at the top tickles the nose. I just, I love that it's deep. In the middle, there is vanilla, almond, tobacco, and cedar. I can smell all of that. And I don't dislike the almond. Usually I'm not a big fan of almond. This is so in the air. It's so peppery and it's aromatic to me. There's tonka bean, teakwood, and musk. And I'm telling you, I can't be without this one. This projection is not great. The sillage is not great. The performance in general is not great, but you know what? I, I, I kind of can't live without this one. It's the tonka bean that does it for me. I just, I find this absolutely necessary. I need this. This is something that I need and I am so grateful to Sunny that I have it. Look, I just, I love this. Don't count these, it's not 10. I should throw another one in or take one out, but I couldn't. In. This is Nobile 1942, La Danza de la Lula. Uh, you know, you know, La Danza. To me, I wanted this so badly. When I first sniffed this, uh, it was from a little sample that Maria Colette sent me. Thank you so much. It's so, it, people are so generous in this community. She sent me a sample of it. And uh, at first I got like a strawberry shortcake doll with milk. I don't know. Uh, and then as I wore it more and decided that I needed it more, I just get, I get the apple now. I never used to. And I get caramel. To me, this smells a lot like um, Casablanca by Swiss Arabian, but to me, this is more refined and less something. I can't explain it. I also love the bottle. So this is a newer one to my bottle babies, but I really think that if I didn't have this one, I would miss it. So I had to include it on the list because, because that apple caramel thing, it's, uh, it's really, really lovely. And I like it more than the Swiss Arabian. And I just, you know what, actually, I love it. I love it. It is of its type of its sweet caramel, gourmandy caramel apple. To me, this is, this is what I like. Francis, I know you're watching. I can't wait to read. Good morning, darling. Um, thank you for this tag because this has really helped me to realize that I could do a declutter. I'm not going to. I'm not, but I could. And if I had to get rid of things that I don't absolutely adore, desire, need, uh, then these are the ones that I would keep and I would give away all of that. So let's hope that it never comes to that because uh, I really want all of those as well. Um, but this was easy. It was easy. These are the ones. Don't count them. I'm Yulia Graham. Thank you so much, Francis, for the tag. Thank you for everything. If you watched this, thank you to you, my scent brother, scent sister, and my non-binary scent sibling. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have some of these? Do you love some of these? Listen, do you hate some of these? Are there some of these in here where you're like, girl, I don't even know what your deal is. Why would you want that? I do. I want these. I love them so much. And I'm going to tell you something else. I love this. I film YouTube videos because I want to talk about perfume and I post them because that's the way we can talk about it is in the comments. So if you want to leave me a comment, you know, my heart would go bloop, bloop, bloop. Thank you to everybody. Thank you for watching and for hanging out with me and spending your time with me. I will see you in the next one.